This morning, I was thinking of bringing a bicycle wheel to the service. And I told her friend, she, she goes, no, no, don't, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> I went over actually to my bicycle and it's been long enough since I've ridden it that it's rusted. So I couldn't get the wheel off because I was going to bring it here. I was going to bring it in. And you're probably wondering, why would I bring a bicycle wheel uh, to service? <clears throat> I invite you to think about the elements of a bicycle wheel. We'll start at the center. There's the hub, right? And then coming out from the hub, there are the spokes of the wheel. Yes. And then there's the rim. Without the rim, the spokes would be useless. They'd flop all over the place. You could try to drive down the street and the spokes would just flop all around. And then outside the, the rim, there's a, there's a tire that is where the rubber meets the road, as they say. <clears throat> so you may be wondering, you know, why is David talking about a bicycle, uh, bicycle wheel? We are not a bicycle wheel, but nonetheless, there are principles at work in the bicycle wheel that illustrate something about us and particularly us together. And just like the bicycle wheel, we need all the elements that the bicycle, bicycle wheel represents in our experience to function properly together. The bicycle wheel illustrates how diverse people with diverse experiences from diverse cultures, races, backgrounds, and very different ways of functioning in life come together to do something spectacular. So what are the elements of the bicycle wheel? Well, we gotta start with the hub, right? There's the hub around which the whole wheel revolves. What's the hub? It's for us, it's what our life revolves around. It's what's most central. It's our purpose, our mission. It's also our access through the Stargate to the source, source code on the other side, the source of life and love. The hub is essential. We have to know that for ourselves individually, yes, for our own individual lives, that there has to be a hub or we're rather wandering around, I think. And the more centered we are, the more we're open to what's coming through this Stargate, the more we know the hub in ourselves. But here's the thing. The hub is, yes, important to us individually, but it's important to us together as human beings. For any configuration of human beings, anywhere, and for all human beings everywhere, there has to be a hub. We have to know what we share in common, what makes us the same, what makes us different is obvious, but we have to know what makes us the same. The hub is the basis of our oneness. Without a hub, there is not oneness. There's here, there, and everywhereness, but there's not oneness. There's uniqueness, but there's separateness without a hub. What are the spokes? Collectively, if we think of, of any group of people, a spoke represents the individual and the individual's relationship with what is at the hub. It's so essential. Without that, a collective is just a bunch of people wandering around. No unified purpose, no unified function, no ability to roll down the street, <clears throat> to go anywhere or get anything done. There has to be a relationship to the hub for all the individuals involved in any collective, 
however large or small, sometimes that connection is, is very practical or there are very practical things to fulfill that connection, like voting in this country. We vote, and that's a way of participating with the hub of what's happening. <clears throat> but there are many ways to participate in what's at the hub of things. You have to know what's at the hub of things to relate to it. But a hub with a bunch of spokes, as I've said, doesn't make a wheel. If we imagine every individual in a collective at the end of that spoke, there's a connection between that individual and the individual next to them, represented by the, the rim. Without the rim, Spokes are flopping around. There's no stability in the collective without what's represented by the rim. And the rim is our connection with the people in our life, the people in whatever community we're a part of, the people in our family, our organization, whatever group. The stability of the group requires those two things from the individual. First of all, what's represented by the spoke, connection to the very central hub of things for that group, their purpose, their mission, their values, their connection with something higher. But then, as that's true for two people, there's a connection between those two people that's possible. To me, it goes something like this. Yeah, we're really different. Like, you're really different from me. Never met anybody quite like you. <laughs> and yet, we share something in common. We, something brought us together. Our connection to what is central about our togetherness has brought us into this collective. And so I'm curious what that's like for you. I'm curious about what is unique to you. And curiosity makes me explore and reach out and connect. <clears throat> 